All right, for FEP Hydraulics Chapter 5, Homework Problem 7, we're going to use the information that we used for Problem 6 and try to figure out if a double barrel concrete box culvert whose barrels are 8 feet wide and 7 feet high, see if they will meet minimum performance criteria. So remember when we have that double barrel, we're going to take that Q and divide it by 2 because we have the two barrels. So for number 7, we've got that double barrel and our Q given to us is 1000 CFS so we'll divide that by 2 so our new Q will be 500 cubic feet per second for the double barrel. Okay, we are also going to use these 30 degree wing walls um, so that means we're just going to be, for that inlet control, we'll be in type 1. So let's do that first. Our inlet control. And we're going to use chart 1. And like I said, type 1 with those wing walls. And so we'll go ahead and find our information here. We're told that the barrels are 8 feet wide. And for this chart 1, uh, our width is the B dimension, so B is equal to 8 feet. We're told that it's 7 feet high. That's our height of the box, so that's our D dimension is 7 feet. And then we'll also need a Q over B for that middle uh, vertical line there. And so that's going to be the 500 CFS over the 8 feet. And so that's going to give us about 62 and a half cubic feet per second per foot. So we'll need to use that on our chart as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at where all those find fall out on chart one type one. Again, we've got the height of the box um, is that dimension D. And so that's our seven feet. Our Q over B, a little bit more than 60, 62 and a half. And we'll go down to that first line, that first entrance uh, for our wing wall. Uh, information here, type 1. And we can see that's just a little bit above the 1.1 mark. I'm just going to go ahead and call that HW over D equal to 1.1. So we'll take that HW over D and set that equal to 1.1, reading it off the chart. And now that allows us to solve for the headwater. We take that 1.1, multiply it by that dimension D, which in this case is 7 feet, and so our headwater is 7.7 .7 feet for our inlet control. Now let's go ahead and do our outlet control and we'll see which one governs, which one's bigger. So for outlet control, uh, same scenario here, uh, but we'll need to use a different chart. Since we're using our outlet control now, we're going to go ahead to chart 8 for concrete box culverts flowing full. So we'll go to chart 8. Uh, for our first, for we're going to have to use our turning line here. Um, so we'll take a look at our area. In this case, the area of this box is going to be 56 square feet, 8 by 7. And our length of our uh, culvert is 100 feet. We're given in the problem statement. And with that KE of 0 0.2. So let's go ahead and con connect those two first. So we'll start on the inside with 56 and then connecting it down to that 100 on the 0.2 line for KE. So we've got our turning point right here on the line here. And then we'll go all the way back to our Q of 500, pass through that turning point and go all the way to our headline here. Uh, I got 1.7. I think that answer key has 1.6, but you know, something in that range, 1.6, 1.7 um, for that head in feet. And so we'll take that. Remember, that will just be part of the answer. I'm going to use the 1.7 that I got, but the book does have an answer for 1.6. Uh, so we'll just be a tenth off here. Uh, so to find that head water, then for the outlet control, we take that head that we pull off the chart. We add that to um, the information around the... Uh, tail water depth, 5 feet, that's given to us. 
And then we're going to take a look at the elevation difference, which will tell us that slope times length ratio. Um, in this case, it's 301 at the invert and 300 at the outlet, so it's just a one foot difference, and we'll subtract that difference here. Um, and so we get 1.7 plus 5, 6.7 minus the 1, so 5.7 feet. Again, in the back of the book, I think it says 5.6 feet, so just off by that one-tenth there. But either way you look at it, we're comparing 7.7 .7 feet for the inlet and 5.7 feet for the outlet. So that will be inlet controlled since that does have the higher um, headwater.